Funding Boost is helping one local health region offer improved services to its patients. Saskatchewan's Ministry of Health is giving almost $1.5 million to Prairie North for facility and equipment upgrades. This is very timely as uh, we are in the process of finalizing both our capital equipment and our capital projects budget. So um, this uh, certainly is uh, going to be targeted uh, based on what our final decision is on those two, uh, two capital programs. $750,000 of block funding will go towards maintenance and infrastructure projects and repairs. Another $700,000 will upgrade medical, diagnostic and safety equipment. There's always new tech technology and equipment wears out uh, as you use it. So certainly the uh, the addition of uh, the additional funds in terms of medical equipment is uh, very welcomed and much needed. The funding is coming from a provincial distribution of $133 million announced back in February. Women from around the region descended on Vermilion today. They were attending the annual Women's Show, a conference aimed at improving life and work balance. Robert Buffum has more. Health and wellness were front and centre at the Vermilion Regional Centre, site of the third annual Women's Day, hosted by the local Chamber of Commerce. We felt it was important to recognize the women that do an incredible job in our community, that work, go to work every day, that help the community run, help the businesses run. The event drew over 180 women browsing booths and taking in tips on how to best manage their time. Is, um, well, first of all, guilt right off the bat, and that is, you know what, I shouldn't be taking this extra time for myself. I should be doing one more thing uh, for the family at home. I should be supporting my husband more. I should be looking after the kids or spending more quality time with them. Maddox wants these women to feel a sense of urgency about their own well-being. We can't wait for the correct opportunity. We can't wait for, um, you know, dad to get out of the hospital. We can't wait for kids to grow up. We can't wait for retirement because it might be too late. A message that seemed to resonate. I just think it's very important that we all get together and, and share a day and, and talk about things that are important to women. As women, we're always busy balancing our kids, balancing our marriage, balancing our, our careers. And, and so today's... It was very important because I think every woman needs to know and get tips on how to balance your life. A balance, Maddox says, can be achieved through simple steps. The grocery parking lot and walking it in, taking the stairs rather than the escalator or the elevator, those are all things that are investments that we can make into our own personal wellness that's going to reposition us right here and right now. Robert Buffum, Newcap News. The Thorpe Recovery Centre is building a new facility in Lloydminster and despite some weather-related setbacks, construction is slated to be completed this fall. On this week's Road to Recovery, we'll see how the new facility will be a boon to more than just the clients and the staff. There have been some challenges in the building of the new Thorpe Recovery Centre, challenges faced by anyone trying to work construction or road maintenance last year. It just simply rained a lot. It seemed to hardly ever dry and it did pose a lot of, a lot of delays and concerns for us. Uh, for timing, um, but we've been able to make up some time since we were able to close up and whatnot and, and carry on from there. But The centre is well regarded not only in the Midwest, but also in the whole country. But aside from the prestige, the larger centre will also require more staff. So the employment level in that particular industry now is almost going to double. Um, and um, it's a safe, sound um, thing. We're always looking for economic impact. To try and finish the construction, the Thorpe is holding a gala on May 19th. They're bringing in Canadian country star Terry Clark to perform and have a fine menu planned. Finishing the building will enable the Thorpe to start treating youth as well. There seems to be very little choices if kids get in trouble, and when they get in trouble with these powerful drugs, I've seen it as an alderman at the city of Lloydminster, how some of these drugs are made and how you can get addicted in one or two tries. And the staff at the Thorpe know all too well the services they provide actually do save lives. When you walk in these doors, I think people are very scared and they have a hard time admitting that they do have a problem and then they walk through these doors and they have no hopes. Tickets for the gala are $150 or $1,200 for a corporate table with tax receipts available for half those amounts and are available at the centre on their website and also on Terry Clark's website. Road to Recovery with the Thorpe Recovery Centre. Building hope one person at a time.